The third area we should see is the bills, bills generation. As you know, typically bills do have item, then uh, description, then quantity, right? You can say item 12, description, uh, Y soap, quantity 5, then the then it also have unit price, right? Then it will talk about unit price about 120 rupees or something like that. Then the cost, total cost, right? So typically you will have multiple line items repeated like this. Then there will be a subtotal. Then there will be a tax. Then there will be a grand total. This is how every bill will be there, right? You go to any stores, any country, most of the times you will have this item, description, quantity, unit price and cost, subtotal, tax and grand total. Over and above this, what happens here is the stores to promote their sales, they also give coupons. So coupons management needs to be maintained within the system. For example, for specific items, there will be promotion codes, right? They will give the promotion codes either in the newspaper or they will send through SMS or you may receive a special email or along with the newspaper you may get some coupons with the advertisements, right? So they are tied up to items and again they have some validity dates, right? You can use those coupons, promotion coupons only within certain dates. And again, there will be some restriction also, right? When I say restrictions, you cannot use the coupon for buying 10 items. They may say up to 2 items we can give discount, right? This coupon will also come with discount details. It may be 10% or 15%, then there will be conditions like this. If you buy above 5 quantity, you may get discount. In certain cases, if you buy any number of quantities, only for 3, you will get discount. So the coupons will also have discount details. Okay. So when they generate the bill, when the people who buy that, when they pro provide that coupon, there should be a provision to enter coupon details or the coupon itself may have barcode. Scan coupon, right? Based on the coupon barcode itself, the billing software can get that information, deduct those much uh, quantity or percentage from your bill amount. Okay. In certain cases, they may get they may give buy for hundred dollars get ten dollar free, right? So it will it's a fixed price. Or they may say, if you buy for $100 or above, you get 5%. It may be absolute value or percentage based coupons. So the billing software towards the end, after the grand total, they should have coupon or discount details. Then grand total, final bill amount. Right. Apart from that, the manufacturers or the brands they also provide free gifts along with purchase, right? So your billing software should detect, again there will be a feed people will provide, if you buy this item you will get this item free, right? You buy one pack of 200 grams toothpaste and then you get one brush free, something like that. Or if you buy one uh, big um, one kilogram bottle of coffee powder, you may get a, maybe a coffee filter free. It depends, right? It depends from time to time, from season to season, festival to festival. So based on that manufacturer's promotion or the store's promotion, you may get free gifts. The POS must alert the operator or the counter guy and uh, list those 
free items so that at the time of purchase this guy will go and then get those free gifts and then give it to you that's also another important factor in point of sale software okay once all these things are done it should generate a bill then it should get credit card details again it can be a credit card or debit card also usually there will be a scanner or a swipe instrument for the credit card that swipe instrument will also get connected to the billing software machine then based on your credit card details those that credit card number everything will be available to you into the system then it will provide it will authenticate with the credit card agency then once the transaction goes through so it connects to the card agency and gets approval once the approval is done then print bill there will be a printer uh, in many stores you could see the stores information or some images appearing at the top right then it should be a pre-printed form and it prints everything right there there may be multiple copies of the print right so the printing the bill itself cannot be very generic on a blank paper it should be on a formatted printed papers right once the bill is generated then if you pay by credit card you don't have to get a change back from the counter but whereas if you pay by cash right then the operator will enter how much you gave and what is the balance it must show to you right in front of you there will be a display panel in that display panel as and when this scan every item it will show that in bold so that you know they are scanning the right thing the problem may happen you go to the place or the rack or shelf where you pick the item the price tag may be different when you come to the counter if the price is more uh, you will be annoyed so you will be watching what is the price whether they are scanning only once or twice right what happens there whether there is any promotion that is being displayed right everything it will be displayed in a panel in front of you over and above the screen in front of the operator and this display panel will say what is the balance you should get right in many companies or in many stores even the cash register will be like an automatic draw in that it will open only when the bill is finished and the cash is obtained right it will not open again and again so there should be a lock and key plus at the same time it is authorized connected to the computer automatically right then they give the cash balance back to you close the bill right then things move on wait there is one more thing in many retail stores at the back of the bill new coupons will be provided or at the end of the bill right new discounts on next purchase will be provided at the end of the bill it will print something next time when you come to the store provide the bill they will give some discount again it may have some barcodes or it may have some promotion codes some numbers right that is also part of the point of sale software right this is just for one transaction so the barcode scanner should talk to the software pos software the item management is there discount management is there coupon management is there right then free gifts management is there correct also if you if you take very big stores right it will take uh, 10 minutes to walk across and uh, reach other end and you you take an item you come to the counter and uh, you find something different so you want to you are changing your mind you want to get some other alternate item right uh, then the counter guy will say okay I'll get another item for you right 
basically that piece you are not happy you want the same thing but another piece right in that case you may not even remember remembering the exact location from which you picked it will be very difficult so the poi software will have which item is located in what shelf right in the store typically exact location each row will be having a number within that they will have shelf number also so if you are buying xyz cookies from the point of sale screen they can find out this cookie is there in that particular shelf so they don't have to search a lot they can straight away go and then pick another piece and then give it to you this is also very important because at the billing counter the more the delay it is uh, almost like the the customer may change the mind okay drop the item i will buy next time so they should react quickly to get the item back to you so that you don't change your mind from buying it so the whole thing is point of sale in fact one person is asking where is this used okay any retail stores right everywhere you go and then buy a milk everywhere you go and then buy articles food items right it's all there hotels right wherever or say restaurants wherever you buy items it's there coffee shops it's there right even uh cinema counters theater counters right it's also a point of sale where you purchase tickets and uh, wherever you go in the hospitality industry right or entertainment you go to some amusement parks where they give a catalog you choose a package you buy they provide a ticket right it's all point of sale anywhere you give a card you get a bill you purchase some item it need not be a store it can be even a travel counter where you get a there are hundreds of buses you just choose the destination by it train tickets right if you don't make reservations straight away go there and then purchase for them a product is um, say delhi to mumbai ticket that's a product for them for you it's a travel ticket for them it's a product the product need not be a physical product okay so wherever you pay money immediately get something back as a bill that's all point of sale so this point of sale is vital to generate revenue to realize the cash right this is very very important i talked about very big stores right in very big stores billing can happen in many places right but they may have uh, you may you may go to big malls the store itself will be there in three different floors but the payment may happen only at one point in every floor right billing can happen in any places payment can happen again it can theoretically can happen from any place but for avoiding lot of issues they provide payment counters one only one in every floor something like that right so that you don't have to get your credit card charged three or four times from the same stores within 15 minutes right you can purchase all the items bills are generated all those bills will be available at the payment counter payment can happen at one place so the point of sale must provide distributed billing and payment within stores right there are very big stores which are 1 mile by 1 mile so you cannot walk across every place carry all the item you simply give the item at that counter near that place then finally when you come to the exit all the items are there provide your credit card get that come out so distributed billing and payment is also available along with very big stores in terms of point of sale right again at the end of the day it will generate a lot of reports right reports based on uh, sales based on items right 
lot of reports will be generated that will be useful for the management to analyze what are the most moving items right what are the items that I need to order and then fill the shelf back it's all there with this I close this point of sale webinar thanks a lot